Breaking news. President Buhari, call off your Fulani killers while we pursue peace and global security. If not, hello, my wonderful people. A serious message has come for President Muhammad Buhari, who, you know, gov whose government is supporting Fulanis. If you're not aware, Maiti Allah has called Northern elders and have told them that all hell will let loose if they do nothing about Abakiari uh, situation that they've all been quiet. Abakiari is one of them, is a Fulani and he has been supporting them. So when you look at it, the whole military, we keep telling you guys that there is an agenda. Some people will not see within, you know, the game going on on the chessboard. They just say, uh, who told you, my dear? Uh, there is more to be than beneath the eyes. Oh. You know, Usman Danfodo in the 1807, the movement that he started, you know, wanting to ensure that Africa at the time become what he wanted to be, you know, and was stopped when the, uh, you know, the, the, the West started, or the, the, the Europeans and Americans started coming into Africa for slave trade and the rest, you know, he could not withstand the gunpowder. This very mission, they still want to carry out. They blame the British, saying that uh, they did not allow their forefathers conquer the land that belongs to them. Particularly, they say Nigeria is the main point that is really theirs. Please don't forget to give us a thumbs up. Subscribe if this is your first time. Let's get all the details. The evidence is there. Not only is there slaughter ongoing, it is clear. If Nigeria's deteriorating condition is not intellectually managed, global security will be completely compromised. The evidence is there. Not only is there a genocide being actioned in Nigeria, but this slaughter is being supported by the government. In early December 2020, Liga Gilbert followed at the center of for Religion Freedom, USA, wrote for Family Research Council Act Long Last. Broken and bloodstained Nigeria has been declared a CPC, a country of particular concern by the U.S. State Department. In an article published by the Harrison Institute, an Auckland think tank and research center, the U.S. Commissioner on International Religious Freedom was also grateful to the U.S. government for at least long-lasting designating Nigeria as CPC, something that UNICEF has been recommending since 2009. In that same article mentioned above, Gilbert wrote on the state at Family Research Center, we have written repeatedly at the length about the horrible violence in the West African country, our largest report in Nigeria since the dawn of the 21st century and our lengthy report on Nigeria forewarned since the dawn of the 21st century with the horrific acclamation in recent years. Verified reports of murder, rape, mutilation, and kidnapping of Christians in Nigeria have persistently increased. This attack are frequently accompanied by the touching of homes, churches, villages, agricultural fields. Uh, July 15, 2020 headline reports that 1,202 Nigerian Christians were killed in the first six months. That is even minimal. It's just a, this is report number. The ones that were killed are more than that. Christians were killed in the first six months of 2020. This is an addition to 11,000 Christians that have been killed since June 2015. Such violence has reached a point at where experts observe and analysis are warning of the progressive genocide side slowly motivating war and targeting Christians across West Africa largely other African nation following suit the Buhari administration has been found to be in partnership with these Fulanis who are carrying out a jihadist plan and not being hindered by the government at all. They focus on other areas in Nigeria where they feel crime is being committed but the main core of crime is not being dealt with so this is the U.S. report saying Buhari should call off his Fulanese. You know, he should call off this his Fulanese brothers and sisters who are committing atrocity in the land. You know, it is high time people begin to say the truth as it is without fear or favor. Buhari is 
part and parcel of what is happening. Nigerians need to understand that and understand it clearly. That this man does not mean well for them. To a large extent, he's only speaking for things that pertains to him. To a large extent, he's only concerned about his own, the Fulanese. Others can go to a base if they want to. He, he, he care less. You see, this is why everybody must continue to speak out. The, the position of speaking out is not for some people. It is your job. It is my job. It is our job. We need to speak out. That is the way we can get deliverance and safety from this very administration and government who do not care for life. All they care about is their political affluence. What next? Where are we going to next? What do we do next? These are the people who are particularly after how they will enforce their reign and their terror on Nigeria. Sadly to know that even the president, you know what this Boko Haram stands for? Western education. They are against Western education. They are not going after the president whose children are not just schooling, not just in Nigeria, but are abroad, getting the very Western education. So how do you reconcile that? Is this not wickedness or a spirit that drinks blood? Is that not what it is? Killing people, but your own children are in the very core where you say you don't want Western education. They are in the very seat of Western education, getting the best of education, coming back to rule you. You see, what's going on in Nigeria is beyond just a, a, a religious whatever. You know, it is some wicked people are behind everything happening, I can assure you. Some wicked set of people are behind what is going on in Nigeria. They are quite happy. And what is happening is feeding their own pride or what they think is the right way to go. They have concluded that those who do not believe, who do not belong to their set or see things like they see things are slaves or they call them whatever name they want to call them. And so Nigerians, it is high time we do not keep quiet. We speak out as it is and we let the world know what exactly is going on in Nigeria. There is serious, there is serious genocides serious one going you know and that's why nigerians we must continue to speak nobody can be quiet in the face of what is happening nobody nobody you know and that's why you know we keep reporting all that is going on all that is going on we keep reporting we keep telling you so that you are informed you know leave us a comment we'd like to hear from you Please don't forget to like or share, subscribe. Click on the notification button so you can get all our latest news. God bless you. Have a lovely and a fantastic day. From us, it's bye for now. Bye.